Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are dealing with pomegranates. Jim from the Nut House brought me about 12 to 15 really nice pomegranates from California. They kind of brought them on a carry on through a couple airports. Just saying. I've already got them ready. This is what I've got done. All of them but this one. Going to be eating this one fresh. These things are fabulous, guys. But, couldn't eat that many fresh. So, I went online and looked for a recipe on how to preserve these the best way and have um, quick, easy access to use them. So, we're making pomegranate sauce. I've got them already ready. I've got my little juicer here. And you put them in just like we do our um, grapes, our muscadines. You put some in. And red sauce comes out the other end. And it splatters all over everywhere, just saying. This is one thing dealing with these that you do have red stuff everywhere. So the first step in making our pomegranate sauce is to get the juice out of these little kernels. And I have quite a few to go, so I'm going to sit here for the next few minutes and juice pomegranate kernels. We're going to be adding agave sauce and lemons. And these are off my tree, guys. Danny said they're not totally yellow yet, but we can still use them. So, I'm going to get busy. Okay guys, give me a few minutes to clean up and we will start making our pomegranate sauce. We have our juice done and isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. This is a two cup measuring cup, so we're putting two cups. We're going to see how much juice we actually have. There's four cups, and it's not quite to the fifth cup, it's about four and a half cups, and the recipe calls for five cups of juice, so we're pretty close and it's not going to be 
a big deal. So we've added four and a half cups. We're going to put this on simmer because you do not want it uh, boiling. You just want it to be simmered. We're adding half a cup of lemon juice. And it calls for one cup of uh, sugar. We're not using sugar. We're using agave. And I'm not going to use a whole cup. I'm going to use about half of this because I don't want it overly sweet. And we're going to let it simmer for three to five minutes. Okay, so we've heated this for five minutes just at a simmer. And it's mainly just to mesh the lemon juice and the agave in it. I have a strainer. I'm going to be straining some right quick because there are a few little kernels that manage to slip through. And this is what we end up with, our pomegranate sauce. I have these little Tupperware, um, I don't know, they look like little egg things, but it's made to freeze fruits or herbs or something in small quantities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my sauce in this, and then we have a lid to put on it, and I'm going to freeze those, and whatever's left over, I'm putting in ice trays. Once they're frozen, I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag, and... Then when you want some for putting on ice cream, you thaw them out, you can take them and put them in smoothies. Um, I'm going to use some when I use my wassail this year, uh, probably in about a, two or three weeks. And that is my pomegranate sauce. So thank you, Jen and Mike from the Nut House, for bringing me fresh pomegranates off their tree that they picked just before they left California. And Easy, pomegranate sauce. Thank you guys.